Technology changes every day and faster and faster with every passing year. There's no denying it, the singularity is coming. The robot revolution is marching ever closer and it all begins here. Here are some examples of future technology that will change the world. Number 20. Autonomous Robots As science fiction has imagined robots with the ability to think for themselves, they're often depicted as a dystopian marauding gang of evil machines hell-bent on world domination. So it seems pretty likely that autonomous robots will indeed change the world. But will they change it for the better, or should we start building a bunker? The general idea with autonomous robots is, of course, to simplify our human lives. Isn't that how it always begins in the movies as well? These robots will be designed to gather information from their environment and require very little input from humans for long periods of time. They would likely be a wide range of different sorts of robots with programming from the simple vacuuming robot all the way to an autonomous helicopter. The main difference between the sorts of robots that perform these tasks now and the future versions is in the way that the new ones will be able to gather and interpret information as they go along and then adapt their performance accordingly. Essentially a process not unlike thinking. So robots that can think for themselves? That seems like a really good idea. Whatever could possibly go wrong? One such example is the MIT Cheetah robot, which you would have seen in the thumbnail for this video. The first ever four-legged robot capable of performing a backflip. These things are light on their feet with a range of motions that could rival a champion gymnast. You're probably wondering why the geniuses behind the MIT Cheetah robots designed and built it in the first place. Well, the answer's simple. They simply felt like it. The eventual plan is for future MIT Cheetah robots to be so autonomous and capable of something similar to thought, they can navigate an obstacle course without instruction or control. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. We all know about contact lenses, but did you know about smart contact lenses? Let's be real, these things are about to change the world. For real, these prototypes made by Mojo Vision don't just enhance your vision, oh no. They also show you your schedule right from the surface of your eye, like some kind of science fiction movie. It's like being Iron Man. The plan of Mojo Vision is to pioneer what they call invisible computing. If they get their way, then we'll be looking at less screens because the screens will be in our eyeballs. If this works, we'll all have a personal planner inside our eyes. It's scary stuff. Exciting, but also scary. As always, comment down below with the hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed you on the screen. Number 19. Nano medicine. In the simplest of terms, this extremely clever and complicated science can be described as medicine that's performed at the smallest level, the very tiniest of particles. Technology has now improved so much that it's possible to see and therefore work with things so tiny that they were impossible to even imagine just a few short years ago. Advances in nanomedicine means that tools have been developed to see such microscopic parts of the body that disease can be diagnosed extremely accurately and much earlier than ever before, meaning that recovery and survival rates for previously deadly illnesses are improving. The other side of the science is the ability to create teeny tiny nanostructures that can be used to repair human cells when they go wrong, everything from skin and bones to organs. Although we're yet to reap the full benefits of this nanotechnology, there are some aspects of it at play already in certain drugs that are on the market. The nanomedicine is used to create a drug delivery system that enables the medicine to be administered with great accuracy and efficiency to the specific area of the body where it's needed. 
This reduces side effects and increases the efficacy of the treatment. The future of nanomedicine could change the way we understand and treat illness entirely, and it's one of those incredible things that people in the past imagined in a hopeful and bright future, and we're fortunate to live in a time when it's becoming reality. Number 18. Space Tourism Taking a vacation in space has actually already become a reality for the mega wealthy of planet Earth, but for us mere mortals, the notion of space travel for spring break is not really in the immediate future. However, it could be on the horizon. The idea of a mini break to the moon or an afternoon orbiting the Earth is perhaps something you've dreamed of since you imagined being an astronaut when you were a child. Until recently, this was only a dream for all but the very few highly trained and chosen ones. But now, if your pockets are deep enough, then you too could be headed beyond the atmosphere. In July of 2021, billionaire Jeff Bezos took flight on his very own rocket ship. Billionaire and all, you know. All for a jaunt into space that lasted about 10 minutes and 10 seconds. But for all of that briefness, this marked a significant moment in time for the future of space tourism. This was a suborbital flight, which is the kind of space travel that's likely to become more widely available in the near future. These rockets take a rapid dash about 100 kilometers up to the literal boundaries of space where the people on board experience weightlessness and witness extraordinary views of the Earth from their unique vantage point, all before hurtling back down to disembark. Now, if you want to take an orbital trip, however, that's a whole different category of cash. Estimates for suborbital trips in the next decade are around $100,000 a ticket. However, if you want the full space experience of orbit and also to visit the International Space Station, that's going to set you back a measly $55 million. So you better start saving your lemonade stand money. Number 17. Gesture-Based Computing Whenever a movie or television show has wanted to depict something futuristic, then chances are they've used the notion of gesture-based technology in one form or another. The kinds of computers that are projected into the middle of a room and manipulated by the user in a manner of a conductor directing an orchestra, or technology that's linked to eye movements, adjusting to the way that the human body works. This has long been the filmmaking world's idea of the future. However, is your problem probably aware, this technology actually already exists. Easy to get into compatibility with, with absolutely no code. If you have a smartphone, then you're already using it. Likewise with gaming consoles. Stuff like shaking a phone to activate certain functions or playing games on Xbox that uses cameras and sensors to enhance gameplay by tracking movement and gestures. The other major industry where gesture-based technology is playing a growing role is in automotive. So far, these things have been mostly confined to temperature controls or things like music volume and such, but the use of gesture for the actual driving process is right around the corner. The idea of incorporating human gestures into the technology we use is the natural progression that many of our devices and gadgets have long sought. It's how we imagine the future, a place where technology helps improve human lives and is seamlessly incorporated into our homes and workplaces, becoming a kind of extension of ourselves. Well, when you witness just how attached some people are to their smartphones, it's simple enough to believe that we've already begun the assimilation. Number 16. Nanobots now this one is for all of you conspiracy theorists out there. What if I told you that within 10 years, nanobots could be employed in the human body to prevent illness and perhaps to even upload your thoughts to the cloud? Sounds a little bit terrifying, doesn't it? So what exactly is a nanobot? Well, these are exactly what they sound like. Microscopic machines that work on a molecular level. Sounds bananas. Teeny tiny robots scurrying around in the human body through the blood, fixing things and tinkering with stuff and generally being a miracle of technology. This utopian ideal of the use of nanobot technology is to detect and erase things like cancer from out of our systems, to attack viruses, and even to help 
humans live long and healthy lives. But where there's a utopia, there's usually a dystopia lurking right around the corner, waiting to pee on everyone's parade. What kind of insane nanobot malfunctions could you even imagine? Surely there's a thousand sci-fi movies waiting to be made about this incredible technology? Let us know your ideas in the comments below, but try not to panic. If these tiny robots can cure cancer, then they'll probably get into your system through the keys on your keyboard as well. Number 15. Space Colonization when Jeff Bezos took a little trip into space in July of 2021, he announced upon his return, after a mere 10 minutes in the air, that it was essential that we move all heavy industry and polluting stuff into space so as to preserve the beauty of planet Earth. It seems a little bit bonkers to me, but what he's actually alluding to is essentially the colonization of space as a means of expanding human activity, especially as we've done some fairly damaging stuff to our own planet. It looks like those that have conquered Earth, the billionaires, you know, like Branson, Bezos, and Musk, are all looking skyward for new territory and new places to extract value from. There's even been some chat amongst experts that people will be living on the moon by the year 2030. But seriously, who actually owns the moon? Can anyone just rock up there and pitch their tent? The same goes for any other planet that may be under consideration for development. At the very least, this should give us all a moment's pause. Just because the billionaires already own almost everything down here, does that mean that they own the whole solar system as well? With the ever more ambitious moon colonization plans becoming more and more likely, with companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin dominating the future of space travel and planet-stealing plans, perhaps we should ask where it leaves the rest of us. Are the billionaires just going to take all they need from Earth and then skip on out of here to plunder Mars? And what happens after that? Number 14. Robots in Space Scientists have long understood the need to develop robots that can not only help in our exploration of space, but that are also robust enough to withstand the rigors of space travel and extensive periods of time without human intervention. And that is no mean feat. Robots have been used with varying degrees of success in many a space mission. They're employed in situations where it's not yet possible to send a human, and they can be used in extreme temperatures or even travel for years without needing things the same way that humans do, which also makes robot exploration much cheaper than sending people. Generally, the robots are out doing their thing in space and have been developed and launched by NASA in recent decades. There are many different kinds of robots that have their own specifications, like rovers, the kind that you've heard of that have been doing their thing on Mars. Then there's the robots that are out there in search of water, possibly off to investigate the surface of distant moons, seeking out signs of life elsewhere in the solar system. Then the creepiest of the NASA robots are probably the humanoid ones, with the appearance that's not dissimilar to a stormtrooper crossed with an action figure of a wrestler. And these figures are designed to be employed where the human body is best suited to perform a task, but it's otherwise unsafe or expensive to send in a real life human. Number 13, driverless car. One of the big dreams that people in the United States had in the optimistic 1950s was a future where there would be driverless cars. And although actually driving a car may be part of the environment of this mode of transport, for some, it would seem, it's just too much effort. And being propelled in a personal fiberglass box without the need to even observe your surroundings, that's the dream. And here we are all the way in the future, and suddenly we have those driverless cars. And they've not really quite turned out to be the wondrous, life-changing technology that people had long ago dreamed of. Not yet, anyways. When Tesla launched the Model S, which has autopilot mode, it seemed as if the future had finally landed. Except it really had not. 
Although the idea was that this should be kind of marketed as a self-driving car, it really wasn't the completely autonomous vehicle that one imagines when conjuring up the idea. It turns out that it's much trickier to make a completely self-driving car which would need to think for itself in real-world situations. Artificial intelligence? It just isn't there yet. So it is possible to produce a car that propels itself in test situations, but bung it in in the real world where there are real people and other vehicles and the thing just loses its mind. While it may be possible to teach a computer the rules of the road, it's not possible to train a computer to act like a human because we do all kinds of distinctly human things when we drive, often without being fully conscious of them. You know, like making eye contact with other drivers, or reacting to changing weather, split-second judgments based on rapidly changing information. Computers, it turns out, also have a blind spot. Number 12. Flying Cars since people got to grips with cars and then imagined where else they could possibly go in the future, the flying car has been the holy grail for even the most optimistic future gazer. Never mind the utter carnage of an above-ground free-for-all traffic scenario, the flying car is the flippin' future and you know you want one. Apparently, there are really some companies out there that have flying car prototypes in development. Airbus, Boeing, and Uber are all said to be working on designs for the idea. Whether it winds up looking like a Fifth Element-style cab or a Jetsons 1960s future-style bubble vehicle, that's really anyone's guess. But it is an exciting and slightly less bonkers prospect indeed. But just how are these things going to work? Well, as it turns out, flying cars that are currently in development and testing stages are able to perform a vertical takeoff like a jump jet and travel shorter distances of just 10 kilometers at the present. Even so, it's still a flying car. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to buy a DeLorean. Number 11. Robot Butlers The creepier aspects of having staff to answer to your every daft whim is dealt with when you remove the human being from the equation. But is a robot butler the answer to the lazy person with a conscious conundrum? Could we all soon be adding a robot butler to our own household appliances alongside our dishwashers and toaster ovens? Look at that handwriting. That's impeccable. Having gotten used to basic household robots like the Roomba, is the time right for a more all-around household helper? It seems as though it just might be. The Ugo robot from Mira Robotics is able to perform a full selection of boring household tasks like doing the laundry, all the way through to folding up clean clothes when it's done. Sounds pretty good to me, but I just have to wonder if even this robot can find all the missing socks. Number 10. Solar Panel Technologies Possibly one of the least sexy of all renewable energy technologies, but actually one of the most widespread, solar panels have been large-scale, utility-based, and frankly, very ugly. So what can future solar panels do for us? That's the real question. Well, if your interests lie in harnessing the power of the sun, and who amongst us doesn't count that as one of our greatest passions, then future technology has got a whole load of solar panel advances that are going to get you all hot and bothered under the collar. It turns out that the latest technology has actually found a way to create solar panels that are wildly efficient but require very little space, unlike the vast swaths of land required with the traditional solar farm method. Add to the fact that the people working on the stuff have also been trying really hard to make the solar panel a whole lot more sexy and desirable, then you can certainly imagine that this technology is going to be hot stuff in all of our futures. All joking aside, finding alternative energy sources and developing more simple and accessible ways for regular people to use them is no doubt one of the important next steps in figuring out how to save us all from the looming disaster of the climate crisis. Otherwise, we'd better hope that Bezos lets us get on his space rocket when everything else goes to hell! Number 9. Hyperloop 
Imagine being able to travel at 750 miles an hour in passenger pods through tubes or tunnels without the need for tracks and wheels. The mind-blowing technology really does sound like stuff of the optimistic future planners, but you may be amazed to hear that it actually already exists. Using magnets, the concept of Hyperloop is based on the same kind of idea as an air hockey table, where friction is reduced by the use of magnetic levitation. The Hyperloop goes further still by removing most of the air from the tunnels in which the pods travel. This cuts friction even further and allows the incredible high speeds to be achieved. That's so good. Man. What the ability to travel at over 700 miles per hour actually means in reality is that a person would be able to cover the distance between Los Angeles and San Francisco in just 40 minutes. This could revolutionize the way people live and work and may even be able to be an affordable and less polluting alternative to air travel. With the usual suspects of Richard Branson's Virgin Company and the ever-present Elon Musk involved in the development of this new form of transportation, transportation, it does seem that traveling in this futuristic fashion may soon become a reality. It has been in the human test run stage since November of 2020, and all signs suggest that it's forging ahead. Number 8. Virtual Reality most of us are familiar with virtual reality in one way or another, either through its depiction in films or its increasing use in video games, and even on theme park rides. Virtual reality is here already, but the real potential for its use may yet to be discovered. Since the 1930s, people have been imagining a world where virtual reality exists. Then, in the 1960s, the beginning of the technology as we understand it today were beginning to take shape. There were novelty machines which incorporated different sensory experiences for the user, which included smells and sounds to enhance the reality, but these were mostly confined to amusement arcade-style machines. Virtual reality headsets that are available to consumers in the present use some gesture-based technology within their experience. The wearer has all their vision blocked by the headset, and what they can see is replaced by images that augment a different reality. Their their view adjusts as they move their eyes, and that gives the impression that their line of sight is actually real. These immersive pieces of tech have been adapted for different sorts of gameplay and also to build virtual realities for many human experiences. This technology has also been used to remarkable effect in treating trauma and anxiety in people by creating a virtual but safe environment in which the patient may confront their fears with a medical professional to support them through the process. And you thought that VR was just for video games and saucy scenarios. Number 7. Wearable Technology Although we're increasingly familiar with wearable technology with items like fitness trackers and the ubiquitous Apple Watch now commonplace in our lives, the future of wearables is just a bit weirder than you might expect. Some people seem to be really rather attached to their phones, to such an extent that we often joke that it would need surgical removal. But what if you could actually assimilate your cell phone into your body? Would you really want to, and why might this be useful? Honestly, if you're completely addicted to your phone, then you may well see no reason not to be, but there's something just the tiniest bit odd about becoming so intertwined with our devices that we literally allow them inside of our bodies. But that's what tech companies are working towards. Since the development of the cloud and the advancement of nanotechnology, it's become possible to make personal devices do more advanced, and perhaps useful things. These machines are integrated into our lives, recording how many steps we take, what foods we eat, where we go, who we see, what we buy, and even how fast our hearts are beating. The data that's gathered by our phones, watches, and tablets, and other devices 
are actually worth a lot of money. There are plenty of companies who are extremely eager to find ways to gather more of that delicious data and stuff their pockets with financial spoils. So if they can literally integrate the data gathering devices into the bodies of the consumer, on the grounds of convenience of course, then there's never a moment when that person isn't connected to their device and filling up the cloud with all the data that it can eat. Number 6. 3D Printed Food This slightly bizarre sounding idea is currently also rather underwhelming. To use a 3D printer to create anything, it needs to be able to be built from a kind of paste that can be squeezed through the machine's nozzles. So you can probably deduce that any kind of food that can be printed in the 3D world would also have to start out as a squidgy paste-like substance. As absolutely appetizing as that sounds, it does limit the scope of this technology somewhat at the present. If you want to create some kind of elaborate or geometric shape out of processed food stuff, then 3D printing is likely able to do that in a much more efficient and accurate manner than you'd be able to produce by hand. And if you want weird paste turned into food that looks like toys, well then great. Otherwise, this is a technology that has more hype than it deserves and is best left to the gimmicky kitchens of novelty restaurants rather than finding a place as the new must-have gadget. But you never know where these things might lead, so perhaps in a few years we'll wonder how we ever managed without 3D printed food. Number 5. Exoskeleton Taking the wearable device to the extreme, the exoskeleton is a bit like a robot that you wear and rather than working separately from your body, it works to enhance and assist your body's capabilities. These robe suits can't turn you into a superhero, but they can certainly give you an edge as well as a hint of Iron Man if you like that sort of thing. Exoskeletons come in a range of materials, from carbon fiber or metal through to a soft fabric and elastic pieces. Generally, the tech that these things contain is stuff like sensors and actuators, which are the components that cause movement in a machine. So robotic exoskeletons are designed to enhance human performance. Wearing one might give a person many times their usual strength or perhaps much greater stamina on the account of the suit taking over a good deal of their usual efforts. The potential for this technology is only just being realized, and the idea of augmented human bodies and the new possibilities that this could hold are limited only by our imaginations. Number 4. Smart Mirror Next in line for technology that you didn't know you needed and frankly may yet be surplus to requirement is the smart mirror. Now, there are apparently a few different types of things on the market being sold as so-called smart mirrors. Their functionality and technological usefulness varies wildly, but the ones that are currently available just do gimmicky stuff like plumb into your Twitter or show your text messages on the mirror so you need never to put your cell phone down, even when you're finding out who really is the fairest of them all. There are smart mirrors in development that may actually deserve to be called smart. The idea behind these clever looking glasses is that the face can actually serve as a reflection of a person's overall health and well-being. With built-in sensors that can check various disease risk factors, cameras that can analyze your heart rate and blood oxygen levels, and scanners to check for changes in your weight, along with gas sensors that can detect alcohol and cigarettes, although you would imagine that you might be aware of those things already, there are some benefits to such technology. On the other hand, there's something decidedly creepy about the idea of this depth of intrusion into one's privacy, because you know that there's always a data mining activity behind anything that gathers information on you. You need to proceed with caution, because this could be a poisoned apple. Number 3. Smart Toilet from one kind of health obsession to another, where the mirror generally focuses on the top half of the body for information, this tech is obsessed with your backside. 
or to be more precise, the stuff that comes out of it. Ew. The general idea of a smart toilet is not just to wish you a pleasant day or to remind you to wash your hands. These things are busy analyzing your wheeze and your poos, checking for any kind of hidden nasties like cancer that might be lurking undetected in your system. These smart toilets have a whole bunch of technological features, which, although may be useful for health reasons, are not for the squeamish or easily embarrassed. This machine samples stools, tests tinkles, and takes pictures of your emergency exit. The idea behind all of this probing is that the technology can get wind of early stages of diseases like bladder cancer or kidney failure, as well as general infections and poor overall health. Now, I don't want to be a party pooper, but this particular commode is unlikely to be found in any common garden or anything like that anytime soon, and although ideas for a kind of smart attachment are in development, which would allow the features of a smart lavatory to be added to a regular toilet bowl at some point in the future, we may all need to prepare for even that last vestige of privacy to be invaded by the technological revolution. Number 2. The Array of Things With such a poetic name, you would hope that this piece of futuristic technology can live up to its exciting-sounding associations. But what exactly do you imagine when you hear of something known as the Array of Things? This pioneering scheme in Chicago has the idea that collecting data and real-time information from the city's streets can provide invaluable services to residents. So the whimsically titled Array of Things is a network of sensors that detect such exciting things like weather conditions and traffic and street safety along with air quality. Although not the sexiest of subjects, the idea is actually to gather the city's information and then be able to better inform policymakers and residents of things that have a direct and tangible influence on the daily lives of Chicago's inhabitants. Developers plan that in the future, the data will be directly connected to specific apps. For example, one that tracks the air quality so that asthma sufferers have information to help them better manage their condition. A noble endeavor. Let's just hope that those evil data mining goblins don't figure out a way to monetize and corrupt this pursuit of progress. Spoiler alert, they will. Number 1. Robot Soldiers now, if there was a concept that stepped straight out of a dystopian science fiction movie set and into a dark and dangerous future, then it's probably robot soldiers. The reality of this idea may make perfect sense, but the first place the mind goes to, likely as not, is total carnage and evil robot soldiers doing the bidding of a crazed despot. <laughs> or maybe that's just me. The idea, of course, is not to create a superhuman ultra soldier, but rather to provide assistance to armed forces on the battlefield. Being able to support troops with medical assistance and remotely operated robotic devices would be used to storm buildings and participate in other modern warfare scenarios that often prove most dangerous to human combatants. War is a deadly business, though, and although there are armies across the globe that are eyeing the prospects of robot soldiers, Many of them insist that only humans will be armed, and no robots will be used to fire weapons autonomously. However, technology keeps on marching forward, and as we've already seen, there's the possibility of using artificial intelligence in machines for all kinds of domestic duties, so it's only a small, tiny step in a couple bits of legislation to see an army of robots heading into battle. We're living in an era where technology rules our everyday lives more than it ever has in history. Most of us carry a sophisticated computer in our pockets. We use virtual reality and gesture-based technology without a second thought. Living in a world where we may one day soon be able to take a holiday in space. It's an extraordinary time to be alive. And as things rush forwards at an ever-increasing pace, technology just keeps on expanding to fill up our time and fix our problems. What can you imagine will be next? Let us know all about it in the comments below. Also check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen and I'll see you next time.